Hello. So I thought this would be um, a good time for me to give an update because I'm waiting on my boys to get out of school. Um, this one will be a little bit longer just because I haven't updated anybody in a while. Um, so we made it to our new base across the country. We spent um, 12 days on the road. It was pretty crazy, but it was also really amazing. We got to take the kids to Yellowstone. Um, we went to um, Mesa Verde, which was like amazing. Um, and yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, nothing really like, nothing really bad ever really happened. Um, so I would say it was a good, it was a good trip. Um, we, it was like, it was super cool at Yellowstone. We got to see the bison and, um, all of the like thermal features and everything. And at Mesa Verde, we got to see the ancient, um, civilizations that were there. That was really incredible. Um, when we were driving through the desert, I ran over a gigantic tarantula a gigantic tarantula I felt really really bad I didn't know what it was until he got close and then it was too late by then um we I'm trying to think we got to stay in this really cute cabin um while we were at Yellowstone we stayed at Yellowstone for two days um yeah it was it was just a really good trip so um as a, a lot of you guys might know, when we got to um, our base, we were expecting to have a house pretty soon. They said that the wait was one to two months and we had already been on the wait list for around a month and a half. Um, but upon getting here, we were told, actually it's gonna be more like two to four months. So <laughs> thankfully that didn't prove to be true. Um, we're going to actually get our home on base um, on the 20th of October. So we're all really excited about that. It's just, it's hard right now. Like we're living in a hotel with four kids. Yeah. So, um, but we're making it work for us. The boys have started school, the big boys. Um, Unfortunately, right now, because of COVID, the preschool program on base is um, doing like its full day. They consider it like childcare. It's kind of interesting the way that they do it, but he would have to be in care from six in the morning to 6 p.m. And that just, he's only four. So for me, that's just too much. So we're gonna do preschool at home. Um, Lara got her leg broken um looking back on it now it's it's comical only because it happened because of daddy and like if you know Kyle Lara is his princess she's like she's his baby and he was carrying her down this like little embankment by this park it's like the shoreline park I think it's called um and there's this um, there's shoreline all around the park and he was carrying her down and he slipped and fell and landed right on her leg so she has these two very minor fractures the one is um, it's on both the bones in her um, leg right by her ankle and the one it's like the very the most typical toddler fracture where the bone kind of just pokes out a little bit um, and the other one was actually like a little chip of bone. So, um, we ended up taking her, <laughs> I didn't take her to the emergency room the day of because there was no bruising. There wasn't even any swelling, nothing. Um, she just said it hurt. So I thought, well, of course it probably hurts. You know, daddy landed on her. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just give her ibuprofen and see how she is tomorrow. 
well she was waking up through the night as soon as the ibuprofen was wearing off so I'm like that's that's not normal that's not just you know sore because somebody fell on you so we took her and she did have the broken bones so she has a cast um it was uh it was awful we were at the ER and they were like oh you know um I looked at the images and I, th I think it's okay you know you guys should be out of here real soon but we'll we'll let the radiologist um come back with what they think and the radiologist is like oh no it's um broken in two little spots there she's gonna have a cast and I just I broke down um I just felt so bad for her and then her being in a cast it's I was thinking worst case scenario like she was just gonna hate it um but it's so funny she it, it's like she's had a cast her entire life and she is making this work for her every little thing she's like I need this or I need that and I'll be like oh okay okay I'll get um I'll get that for you in just a minute and she'll go but mama my leg is broken and I'm like okay I'll get it for you right now <laughs> she does the same with her brothers and they're like oh, your leg is broken or they'll be like mama Lara needs you to carry her here her leg is broken and she can't do it so she's um getting a little spoiled but she definitely deserves to be spoiled <laughs> so um those are like some of the major things that have happened um, the boys are really enjoying school. Yesterday was their first day. I had a big issue with the school. They wouldn't let me enroll the kids in the school district that our home is going to be in um, until we, originally they said until we have the home. Um, they wanted me to have them in a separate school and then transfer them to this one. And I'm like, they've been through so much transition it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to one put them through that and then two like all of the work of transferring everything so thankfully the housing department did give us our address um yeah so they're in the right school um i'm trying to think it's it's just been crazy kyle has been um the first week that we were here it was basically just him waiting for in-processing, which they typically make them wait a week. Um, so, yeah, he's just started that this week. Um, it's going good. Thankfully, he's been out early almost every day, um, which has been nice. It's been a little nice to have that transition instead of him just being gone all day um, for the kid's sake. But they are missing daddy um but yeah so things have been going good slowly but surely we're getting everything taken care of and there's just so much so we get our house on the 20th of october and then our home goods are going to be delivered on the 21st and um we're just excited i'm really excited that we'll be able to be in the house before um halloween because that's our favorite so yeah that's kind of where we're at right now um yeah we're just biding time and trying to survive hotel life um it's really not that bad it's it's just hard like trying to keep the kids quiet so we're not bothering the people that are staying next to us um but I think the hardest part really is all of our <laughs> all of our neighbors including above us are quite loud so I haven't gotten more than like three hours of sleep a night since we've been here but it is what it is and it won't last forever thank god um but yeah all right I just want to update everybody thank you guys for supporting us